good morning everyone. I think uh, Yukon and I are going to be taking Indian Valley Trailhead today. Right here in the background you see uh, Avalanche Mountain. We're uh, actually looking up Powerline Pass, which is not the trail we'll be taking, but um, we'll, be, we'll be going about that far to that mountain range. And uh, we'll, we'll be in the valley over this way a little bit between Bird, Bird Ridge and the Overlook. And uh, John's got to go to the bathroom. And uh, yeah, it's going to be about, I guess, six miles or so to the point where we're going to stop before we turn around. We're going to hang out there a little bit uh, this afternoon and then head on back. It's going to be about, I don't know, 12, 13 miles total. So let's get this show on the road. As you can see, there's already a lot of breakup happening. A lot of the snow is melted. Things are starting to get nice and wet and muddy. And uh, I think the outcome of a lot of the trail today is going to be just like this. At least for good ways. But yeah, let's get into it. It should be a good day. A good bit of snow. It's gonna be slick, but I do have my little spikes in my backpack. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty common trail for me. I take this a good bit with Yukon. This is kind of like our little afternoon hike, or sometimes after uh, I get home from work. I'll wait a little while, have dinner or something, and before it gets too dark, we'll come out here. But uh, just uh, follow this a little ways, and then we'll actually get to the trailhead. I'll film to that point, I guess. So the goal of today's trip is to actually make it all the way to Bedarka Peak. And that's uh, about, like I said, six miles or so in to the trailhead coming up right here, which is Indian Valley. We will see the sign here shortly. It's pretty cool. There's a uh, bridge over here that you saw in the winter hike introduction video. And uh, that's a neat little area to be in. Just relaxing. It starts over there, but this is our path right now. Here we go, Indian Valley Trail. We're gonna go about that six mile mark and we're gonna try to go up Badarka Peak. So let's, uh, let's do it. The other night I had a uh, black bear come up to my window, peek in on me and Yukon while we were trying to sleep. It was about 10.30, we just started going to bed and, and I heard something rustling and bumbling right by the window and I thought it was one of the neighborhood dogs, but now it's a little black bear. So they're out. They are out. Looking for goodies. And uh, the moose on this trail are fairly common, so it's always kind of a good idea to keep Yukon close to me until a little bit later on in this trail where it kind of opens up. Plus there can be people on this trail. Way to go. So coming up here in a second will be a shot that a few of you might have seen if you follow me on Instagram and stuff. This is the Indian House Mountain shot. Coming up right here in a minute. Hold on. We'll be taking this trail spring, summer, fall, and winter. Let me darken this up. Go. There's the Indian house. Uh, Yukon's pulling me. Yeah, so there she is. And we got a pass. So there's Indian house. There's gonna be the suicide, another suicide, homicide, then avalanche. And we're gonna go about as deep as avalanche, 
but we're looking over this way, so here we go. This is the first kind of little interesting stop. If you feel like having a picnic or something, you know, go down these little steps and uh, yeah, it's just a nice little area by the by the water. Go check it out for you guys. That's the first little place you can stop that's kind of notable. The next one will be the uh, bridge that has the actual like handrails on it. There's a lot of little like foot bridges over some water, but this one uh, has a little handrail. It's got a more iconic scene, I guess, for this trail. So, we'll resume when we get there. I guess where most people come to and probably turn around if they're not cross-country skiing or have horses. If you have horses you can take this little path over here, cross over the water, and then come across. But uh, I haven't actually seen anybody on horses on this trail. I've seen plenty of evidence before but nothing today, just moose poop. Got some big trees over here. You can't get close to it. Yeah. Big trees in this forest. Smell Yukon. Has there been a bear? Has there been a bear here? Mm -hmm. Alright, moving on. Hopefully you guys can see it, but all the way over there is the Bird Ridge Overlook. And you can follow Bird Ridge all the way on top to get to it. That is a hike I plan on doing. I've done Bird Ridge before. It's an excellent hike, but I've never followed that all the way over and reached that before. So we will be passing that today. So I can brighten it up a little bit. We will be passing that point today. 
It's a, it's a good hike so far. There's a good bit of snow out. Haven't seen anybody on the trail, although there were cars in the parking lot. No signs of bear. A lot of moose signs, but uh, yeah. I think we're at about the two and a half mile mark. Close to three miles. It'll start opening up right around five miles. And uh, yeah, so a lot of just woods until that point really, but we'll keep filming. Super post holy. Big avalanche, all the way from up there. Avalanche Mountain right back there. So we're getting pretty close to the halfway point. Close to the area where we start gaining some elevation a little bit quicker. Get a few more views of the Turnigan Arm before we get far back in the valley. The goal is to either climb Badarka Peak, get as high as we can. It's not post holing everywhere. But also to maybe see the Indian Lake where Indian Creek terminates or originates. And uh, if we can't do that, to at least maybe get a view of Mount Willowa. So that's kind of the goal. We'll see what happens. chasing a butterfly there. So up there we got Homicide Peak. I've been up to that one, haven't been to the very tip top, but I've been very close to the tip top. And over here is Avalanche. So we're getting pretty close. You can't really see the trail going to North Suicide and then North Suicide right there. It's a little out of the picture, but when we get back you'll be able to see it. Alright. 
We'll keep going. Whew. All right, we are about four, 4.15 miles in. Things are starting to open up. Getting a little elevation, there's the turning an arm. Get to see a little bit of Indian house over there. It has been post holy real bad, so I'm trying to be careful not to just sink four feet all of a sudden. There's Indian house, the ridge that goes to North Suicide, and then over here, Powerline Pass keeps going, goes up to Homicide, and then follows out that way towards Anchorage. And here's Avalanche Mountain. We're going to start heading up this hill and over, and then we'll start seeing the rest of the valley. And the dark over here will uh, open up, and we'll see how close we can get. Ooh, the last mile has been rough. A tough one. But we'll see. We'll keep going. You should be able to tell why they call it Avalanche Mountain. It's got like three or four right there. A few on the other side. Of course you can see that one in between. Homicide and Avalanche. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I'd climb that one anytime soon. right up there. I believe that's the beak. It might be uh, the overlook, but I believe that one's the beak. So we're getting pretty close to the, the mountain in mind. There we go. What do you think, Yukon? Whew! Almost to the five mile mark. Well, time for a break. So I guess we're gonna try to follow the ski tracks because this is Badarka right here. You can see the tracks go up a little ways. Darken that in. So I guess we're gonna try to go up that crazy looking thing. I don't know where we'll get broken off at, but I'm sure we might possible. Beautiful area. We've had a long walk till now. It's been about four and a half miles. Old Indian house back there. My apartment's at the base of that mountain. The ridge to North Suicide. Here's Homicide. Powerline Pass goes that way. Again, Avalanche. And I believe we're starting to see the ramp over here. I could be wrong, but you're supposed to be able to see the ramp, the wedge, and then you'll see a willow to the right, but that's probably behind this one still. So once we get up there, if we can get up there, we're gonna see a lot of good stuff. Dun dun dun. Can we make it, Yukon? Huh? Eh? Hey! Ooh! <laughs> All right. Whew. 
Let's get ready to do this. Oh. You gone. There he is. Whew. This has been a nightmare for the last, I don't even know how long. It's been quite a ways. You gone, look at me. You gone, look. We're getting up there. This was terrible. Pulse holes were up to my waist and every step. Gosh, it's taking me an hour just to go <laughs> from right down there to here. My legs are burnt out. Whew. I need a break soon once I get to a nice stopping point. We are getting up there though. Catch up with Yukon. I really don't know how much further I can get. the top right there obviously there's not a false summit I'm pretty sure it is right on the top of that one <sighs> Yukon it's freaking 75 degree slope right there if we get up on this hill and cross over, I don't know how deep the valley is right behind it to get up. And then weaving up through there, God, if it's post hauling the whole way, I uh, don't think I can do it. And take a break. It's been slow going this time. We started way down there. Well guys, fortunately I think this is as far as we're going to get this time. I just can't get myself to keep going. <clears throat> My legs are burnt out. Yukon's pretty tired. My shoes are soaking wet. From all the post holing, there's just there's actual water in them right now. I just don't feel like taking them off to drain them because it's going to be hell putting them back on. I've gone five and a half miles and uh, got about, I don't know, two thirds of the way up, a third of the way up. I can't, I can't do too, uh, too much in the springtime. All the hikes, I get broken off, a lot of post holing, a lot of just precarious snow on the slopes. I mean, right here to the side, you might not be able to tell, but it's it's like a 75 or 80 degree slope, but it's just <laughs> nothing but snow that came careening down from up there. Ay, ay, ay. I am exhausted. I've been sitting here taking a break, and now I just lost the motivation to keep going. But the spring hikes do that to me anyhow.
kind of hazy today. It's nice and bright and beautiful, but it's still kind of hazy. <clears throat> it's about 50 degrees. I've been doing t-shirt kind of stuff all day. But uh, when the breeze comes and gets you, it's, it's a little chilly. Hmm. I'm just trying to sit here and relax and take it all in. I hate getting so far and then having to turn around and everything. And I really should just pursue to get to the top, but... Oh, that's a whole lot thinking of what it took to get to this point right here starting from down there it's been a nightmare it has been a nightmare and it's going to be a struggle getting back down I'll tell you that right now dangerous <laughs> 